there we go now you guys can hear me welcome back to another live stream uh today uh we're going to be uh, testing out our uh the gopro making sure everything is good to go here um we're going to be doing a uh, 2016 hyundai santa fe we're going to be doing the front windshield in 50 percent and um yeah it should take us about 45 minutes or so 45 minutes to an hour uh, i'm going to be running the new share screen with the uh with the gopro uh, once i get off here it's going to take about a 30 second delay and just to remind you guys uh that it, there is about a 30 second delay let me try to type it in here there heads up there is a 30 second delay you guys will be fine we'll figure it out from there um let me think if there's anything else um for those of you guys who are watching i'm trying to put the the chat in my ear from my phone here so um if anyone that is watching if you could just give me a quick chat give me something in the comments and i want to see if i can hear it in my ear because i have my headphones connected to here if that's the case then i can i can go off my phone and hear the questions and and do that live so anyone out there Hit me in the comments, please. Ooh, it's starting to get warm. Definitely need to get AC in here. Oh, man. I don't have uh, the phone. Uh, the online thing doesn't doesn't let me, or on my phone doesn't let me hear it. What level are you using? Oh, uh, ceramic, high end ceramic, high end ceramic. Hi everyone. Uh, oh, now all the questions come. Are you are you live on YouTube too? Uh, I'm on YouTube and I'm on Facebook. I'm restreaming all across. Uh, I am on my YouTube channel. I am on the public page for my window tinting business group, the public page. And then I'm also streaming to my uh, my Sun Solutions uh, business page as well. So clients are going to be able to go ahead and read and see this. Uh, handstand time? No handstand time this time. <laughs> uh, it's snowing here. I'm burning up. I'm burning up. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Got some people in the chat already. Oh no, it doesn't add. It doesn't. That's the only thing I don't like that it doesn't add the chat when we go here. So, um, okay, it doesn't look like I have, I have chat in my ear. So what I'll do is uh, periodically I'll take so I'll take a break, five minute break, and we'll go over. Um, we'll go over the, uh, you know, just over some questions and things of that nature. My mom, my wife is a Dodgers fan. I'm a Braves fan. Go figure. All day, baby. All day with the Dodgers. All day. Um, let me see here. All right, we're going to be good to go. Like I said, there's going to be a 30 second delay from when I switch to this camera to the other camera. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and deactivate the chats and let's go ahead and get this going. Fan, I'm a Braves fan. Go figure all day, baby. All day with the Dodgers. All day. Um, let me see here. All right, we're going to be good to go. Like I said, there's going to be a 30 second delay from when I switch to this camera to the other camera. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and deactivate the chats and let's go ahead and get this going. <sighs> All right. Like I said, this is a work in progress. I went ahead and brought my my uh, my gear over to the shop, um, so we could now we could do actual live streams, live live streams. So this is great. We did this years ago, and uh, and it turned out really great. Um, so now I'm able to do this, you know, with customers, drop offs, things of that nature. So good to go. Uh, like I said, we're going to be doing a 50% ceramic on the uh, on the windshield to maximize the amount of heat rejection oh uh, what do we got there star bit my 
star bit. Uh, these dots right here. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought our windshield was already tinted. This looks like a little something. These dots right here, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to hit with a scrub pad. And I was probably thinking about either a razor blade or a um, a clay bar. Clay bar. Clay bar works really well with those, you know, those finicky cars, the uh, the Challengers and the Chargers. Um, so maybe a clay bar might might be beneficial there too. So. And now there's a good thing and a bad thing like before when I uh, when I streamed just from the GoPro straight and only single streamed if the battery died then there's like nothing I can do um, now if the battery dies I lose the feed what is that It's like in the glass. I've never seen something like that before. I lose the feed um, and then and then the whole stream dies. Well, this is going off a different feed. What is going on here? It's like a bubble in the glass. It's just, is that trash on it? There's no tent, so it's not that. Uh, some adhesive of some sort. I thought it was uh, I thought it was maybe like a a defect in the laminate of the glass or something like that. So I wanted to re be really careful, but nope. Just surface contamination. Got some more right here. I got some adhesive over there. Some more adhesive. I'm gonna try to figure out the uh, the whole audio portion. I mean, we're taking step by step. Now we're actually live from the shop, which is great. Um, so this is not like a, a rebroadcasting of the lot of, of me videoing it. This is live live. So this is good. Um, so the next step is just determining how I'm going to get audio live so I can answer questions instead of having to like stop and and uh, check the stream. I'm going to get the dash good covering. There's just a little some dirt. Not dirt, but dust. Just standard dust. <sighs> this headliner is pretty far away from the edge, so I won't tape it off. Um, but uh, normally I would if it was over. Maybe no audio is a good thing, right? Maybe I, do, maybe I won't get distracted. I'll just focus on tinting and you guys can see it and watch it. And then, you know, I'll have segments where I'm answering questions. That might be, who knows? Maybe this is the new way to do it. Probably not.
All right, all clean there. Get our DSP. Two squirts, real simple. Oh, even more. It's like a haircut, you can always take it away. You can't, can't put it back on, right? Kind of like a haircut. <laughs> if you all happen to be watching from the uh, Sun Solutions business Facebook page, uh, check out the description below. You guys can uh, can get a free estimate on uh, on your services: cars, automotive, marine, commercial, residential. We do it all. That's it, we're ready to go. Gosh, it's been years since I've done like true live streams from the shop. It was like, uh, it's been at least two or three years, I think, pretty sure. So I've been used to just like pre-recording and then just like taking breaks or cutting out sections <laughs> that I thought were boring. So I don't know, I think it'll be fine. So as you can see, not a lot of shrink to this windshield I do have calls coming in so I gotta answer the calls from time to time wifey 
Hey, Mama, can I call you back in a little bit? I'm in the middle of a live stream. Ah, uh, don't say anything about our personal lives. I'm, I'm live streaming. Oh, our son lost his tooth. The one that we've been waiting for. There goes another ten bucks. All right. I will. Love you. Goodbye. The wifey. My oldest son lost his tooth. He's been he's had this loose tooth for like weeks, weeks, and he comes to me with a paper towel and he's like, "Daddy, can you pull it?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'll give it a try." But then I start pulling it and then it starts hurting him. So then I stop, and we've done that like four times or something like that. So not a lot of shrink. So I'm just gonna lay down most of this. The bottom part is gonna be super easy. Uh, a Ford F-150, Ford trucks, like F-150s, 250s, they're, they're like this also. Not a lot of shrink in the middle, some some on the sides, um, but uh, but not a lot of shrink on the bottom half. And then like, there's more work to be done on the top half. You just gotta do it right. This shouldn't take too long of a live stream. Um, usually, windshield takes me between 45 minutes and an hour. So, so what I'll do is I'll probably maybe like take a break, answer some questions after I shrink this. I'll take sections. that up a little bit Opa. some of you guys might notice if you guys are on the YouTube channel that I did change the avatar and the channel name back to window tending business so we are back baby I know I've been saying that for a while and I've been trying to find the time but now now that I have the setup here at the shop, it makes it a little bit easier. I don't know why I didn't think about it before. I was having a conversation with Matt earlier this week and we were talking about live streaming and whatnot and gear and such. Because when I did this two years ago, I don't think the Hollyland system was a thing. Um, Matt and I would, would send an RTMP signal to an external server and then we would piggyback the, the 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 feed onto um our live streams there was a little bit of a delay and it, it was a pain in the butt it took time to get that set up but that was the only way to do it at the time and uh and now with wireless hdmi transmitters and such um it makes it a whole lot easier so that's going to be the next step getting the transmitter because once I get the transmitter, I don't have to share the stream and there won't be a 30 second delay. And then once I get the transmitter as well, it frees up my computer. Because right now I'm playing what I'm doing. I am streaming live, but what I'm doing is I'm streaming live to a private live stream. And, uh, and, then, and then screen sharing that live stream. So it's eating up my computer's audio. So I can't like... I can't connect via Bluetooth to my computer and hear the chat without hearing the live stream also. We did a test this morning. And I could hear the chat theoretically, but then I would also hear myself and it would hear the entire audio of the stream like 30 seconds later and it would just drive me insane. Drive me insane.
For those of you guys that are watching on the uh, Facebook business page, the Sun Solutions Facebook business page, if you guys were clients before, uh, a little bit of update about the business. Uh, we now have a brick and mortar shop. Um, so after being on the road for two years, uh, we decided to go and get a shop. Uh, makes it, it was just time. You know, there was only a certain amount of cars we can do per day and it was just the natural progression. So feel free to come check out our new shop. We have a very comfortable waiting area, refreshments, internet, very comfortable. We're up in Hudson. Um, off of US 19, just right right south of County Line, almost into Spring Hill, but not exactly Spring Hill. Uh, right across the street from uh, Sims Furniture. So feel free to come check us out. Our operating hours are, I mean, I know it's Monday right now, but our op normal operating hours are Tuesday through Saturday. So walk-ins are welcome if we can accommodate, but uh, you know, appointments are recommended. snap there and there did it double snap I don't think it double snapped I double snapped the bottom not the top All shrunk. I can't really see the top. The top is uh, this factory tinted, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. Before we do that, let me go ahead and see some questions here. T Towns, boy, T Towns, I'm hungry. Love hanging, having you back live. Ken Glass, what's going on, man? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. About time you changed the name back. Yes, Jeremy B. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I know I've been getting hack about 24 people. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Let me see if I can. Replying to David Roswell. David Roswell messaged me, inbox me for accurate reading. Uh, replying to Catherine McDonald. Uh, Catherine, uh, I read I read your name. And I felt so strong energy and connection. Thought you would wanted a, a reading. Um, I don't know who this is. Let us see who that is. I might have to boot some people in my chat. Okay, and let's go in. How do I block this person? Mm -hmm. I'd comment. Stop asking about readings uh, spam submit ban hide ban done no spamming my live streams bro Up, 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 up. All right, we'll catch up to some questions. I had a spammer in one of my, in one of my feeds. So, test Pablo. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's update the sponsor tab. Let's move on. It's kind of hard to catch up with all the questions. So maybe I just do everything. We're working on it here. Maybe I just do everything and then get to the questions afterwards. Everyone likes to just see it anyways, right? No one wants to sit down and talk to me.
Opa! Boom. I could see the bottom and the top, I just can't, I can't see, the, I mean, I can see the sides and the bottom, I just can't see the top. Felt it. I always notice that when I use my red dot as a cleaning, so like on the windshield, I put it out sideways and clean like this, right? I always notice that like it makes the, the blade duller, more dull. Um, when I try to cut. So whenever I, tr whenever I use it as a cleaning, as a cleaning um, blade, then I'll, uh, I'll just switch out the blade altogether. For a second, I put the film on backwards, which it really wouldn't matter um, because I used the MacTech during the shrinking process, so I wouldn't have made any marks on the film. It does happen from time to time, you make mistakes. Liner side is out. <sighs> okay, so I did notice this is the tiniest little finger right there in the middle. It's probably not going to be an issue, but um, we want to avoid bringing a heat gun inside the car for the bottom portions. There's ways to do it safely, um, but might as well just be proactive instead of reactive. So these little fingers right here and here. Just gonna pull it up a little bit. Squeegee the sides. And re-shrink the bottom. This is gonna tighten it up ever so much. that way so hopefully when we do get to the install portion that there's no uh there's no fingers that we're gonna have to deal with just trying to heat it on the outside is kind of a pain bringing it in on the inside and bringing a heat gun to the inside is problematic especially if you don't know what you're doing you can burn the dash and other things now there is a cutout for the uh, button for the rear view mirror so I'm gonna show you guys how I do that from the inside. I, I don't cut it, pre-cut it from the outside. I cut it on the inside. And the only reason why is if like, 
if you're off or you need to slide it and it doesn't cover and that that hole is off then it's a big pain in the butt so let's go ahead and get our dash protector here and use this one i like this one turn it over this way Split the difference. There we go. I've been using this dash protector a lot lately. M more so too is because uh, I really like that it's like white on the bottom. So like when you install this prehand, then uh, then it's really easy to see the bottom and cut cut the bottom. But I like it too because look how t I mean you can get the rope in there and then it just like it lays flat. Plenty of room. Sometimes when you have dash towels or dash protectors um they kind of bunch up so you got to kind of keep them away from the window but then so like normally you'd have to like if that situation i would have to uh install a soak shield and then a dash protector so i mean i'm not choosing one or the other i just kind of go with what i feel at the time So that that microfiber braid at the that's attached will absorb any excess moisture that may potentially go off the windshield and we're gonna prevent it from going into the dash. All about protection. Don't need that, don't need that. I do want to get my clay bar. Like I said, I'm gonna scrub it, but I want to clay bar it too. I've never clay barred that 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 um, dot matrix area. I usually just like hit it with a razor blade, um, but I think a clay bar might be more more useful. Cause I think I did a Honda Accord. It was very similar to this one, and uh, and it just would not it just would not stick to those dots. Um, and then you got to kind of cut it out and it worked out because I think I did a, a clear windshield on that one. But, uh, but yeah, if you're tinting, if you're tinting it like 50%, oh, oh. if you're tinting it like 50% or anything else like that, you, you're going to see that a little bit more. So for those of you guys, those you window tenders out there that don't know what I'm talking about. So these dots, these blacks, the black ceramic coating, a little knowledge here for you guys. The black ceramic coating is there. It's a protectant for the urethane that holds the glass in place. Without that black border, the UV light from the sun would eat up the urethane and then the, uh, the windshield would fall out. So, and then these, these little dots, actually play no purpose i researched it and it's all for aesthetics it's also that like you don't go from a, a solid black line to like um clear glass i mean so it's all aesthetics so with that being said window film is designed to stick to glass not the ceramic black coating so in this situation here there's more ceramic coating then there is glass so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to clean the area as much as i can and clean the glass too so that that the film has something to stick to and grab because if you don't prep this correctly in some instances instances the uh the film just won't stick in this area and once you lay it like the only other option you have is to basically cut around it 
which depending on the situation if it's clear then it really doesn't matter but 50 you would buy you would be able to see a little bit of a difference and that's just kind of kind of how the game goes unfortunately you want to every car is just a little bit different i'm trying to hit it with that there we go kind of st sticking there we go you know when you do a uh, clay bar and it's just not like smooth not running it's catching just i think that's because it's it's just catching on dirt or it doesn't have enough lubricant i've never clay barred a dot matrix before so we'll see i am gonna hit this with a razor blade though because it's not it's just not uh it's just not running smoothly as I want. see how like the water is coming off now is like like milky that's all the you know just the accumulated dirt between it so we just want to get it as clean as possible it gives us the best shot of it sticking did that paper towel no Couple clean ones and a dirty one. Dirty one because this is just a little bit more dirty than I want. Kind of like wiping down the outside of the car. I want to get up all the dirt here and not use up a clean towel. Clean around the button. Make sure that doesn't get used again. And let's go ahead and clean this whole thing. Just like detailing, you go from the top down. Clean. I am gonna install from the driver's side. I don't know why I'm on the passenger side. I'm never on the passenger side. Let's go ahead and wet this down one more time. go coast to coast so I'm gonna go one swipe down this way and then let's go across I am gonna go get that that uh, max lens pro too I'm totally taking a page out of Matt's book um, I saw hey he made a video about his head rig and uh, and one of the things he has is uh the the max lens so like, like when I turn, the whole thing's turning for you. You know what I mean? But with the max lens mod on it, it keeps the horizon level no matter what I turn, right? So it won't be so jarring for you guys. I am gonna get that too. All right, so we're clean. I wanna kinda clean the outside here. We're clean, we're ready to go. Now I always roll from left to right and I always do a reverse roll. It's just more, it's just what I'm used to. Like even with like, even when I get a peel board up in here, like I don't even know if I would use that because this is just more convenient. Unless it's like a huge dually or something like that that like I literally have to climb all over, over the place for. Come on.
And that's the hard part. Like when you do it off the truck or off the car, like the film doesn't, the film is on a flat surface and you just shrunk it on a curved surface, right? So like sometimes it doesn't wanna, the liner doesn't wanna peel off and it, it causes a zipper. And when I get burned once, that's pretty much it. I don't, I don't, I don't like getting burned. So like I figure out what I did and I try to not do that again. Beautiful. I like to wet it right before I start doing the reverse roll because I feel like it allows it to like, allow me to get that, that roll a little bit tighter. It slides in a little bit more. Just makes it a little bit easier. Oh, wow. Got that. Go ahead and wet it down, squeeze it off. This way I'll be able to see. I know that the front windshield is clean. That way I look at something and I know it's on the inside, not on the outside. I gotta get a new squeegee. Like I dinged it, like right in the middle. So like when I hold it the wrong way, it just like, it leaves a line. It was just my cleaning squeegee. All right guys, ready to install. So important, notice guys that it's wet, it's not dripping. No drippies. It's really what we want to avoid, the drippies. Because the drippies is, is just now you're just oversaturating the glass. When you oversaturate the glass, more water goes down into the deck than is needed and increasing the probability and the risk of damaging computers and other stuff. So as long as you guys use good water management and you use water management it's just wetting it not dripping it combination of soak shields and dash towels and you guys should be good to go you guys should be good to go you guys shouldn't damage anything really because you're taking all the precautions needed I think we're doing good so far for the first official one. Boys, what do you think? Okay. We're good right there. Get any big bubbles out. Hoppa. It's a beautiful thing about soap and water. Gentle on baby's eyes, gentle on cars. All right, so now let's get to cutting out this button. This is how I do it here. Take a brand new blade because we have space between the button and there's a black ceramic. So we're going to horseshoe it. I'm going to poke it in and we're just going to follow that button. That button's going to guide us. Start at the bottom, go all the way around, all the way to a horseshoe, just a U, an upside down U or an N. Pull the tab down and pull it down so it's past the bottom and then just go ahead and trim the bottom straight off. And that's how you cut 
cut a wrap around. Now from here, you want to spread it out. Make sure we're spreading it out. Okay, spread it out. Because we want a squeegee, especially in this situation, because we have the button here, we want a squeegee from the button out, and that's gonna prevent, hopefully prevent any fingers around here. Out, 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 out. If you squeegee anywhere else and then come to the button, um, then you could get a finger, and if it's not angled in the right way, you can't shrink that out. So gonna go squeegee all the way down, and then from the center out. I'm gonna wet it just a hair. I'll be able to do the uh, Q&A afterwards, y'all. Almost done. Almost done. Um, one question that I'm curious of what you guys think. Do you guys think it's a good idea or a bad idea that I am streaming this from my, from my Facebook business page for my clients to see? Thoughts. I feel like it's a good idea. I feel like it's a good idea because it's almost as if they're watching you, right? So you don't skip steps. I mean, I don't skip steps anyways, but like it keeps you, it keeps your A game strong. Oof. I don't think I sprayed enough water in there it almost wants to tack up on me just gotta go slow i'm gonna come over here to the passenger side i've been fiddling with my tack my my tack solution too is it is starting to get a little bit warmer and in the warmer months it's necessary to increase the, the amount of soap that you have in your bottles or else things like this happen where it's it's just tacking just a little bit too soon or and i don't i want to avoid that so to fix it you just gotta add a little more tack up Little more slip, a little more soap. I think that held on pretty good on those dot matrix. What do y'all think? That looks butter. So that's just the, uh, that's just my side swipe one. So Oop, uh, it's my tool. Uh, my scrub tool. So I'm gonna go one more time. This time I'm gonna go with my installation squeegee. I call this the power stroke. This is where you're gonna get in there, really get in there, and try to get out as much of the moisture as possible. done. Take a 
take our bulldozer and squeegee past the edge. Then we take our towel. Last but not least, you just want to bump the edges. Anywhere there's exposed film, I'm going to bump the edges so that there's no moisture on those edges. And then the idea is to prevent moisture from hitting that edge, creating a finger and lifting the film back up. Just like that. Do you see a little tiny finger at the very top? One around here. That's it. That's it. Take a towel. And let's wipe the glass. Now this is just like initial wiping. Um, just getting the, the majority of this off after the installation. But as I am uh, buttoning up and getting uh, the client ready to get out the door um, on top of the warranty paperwork and everything else like that, I'll also get a spray bottle of alcohol and, sp and spray the inside and the outside so it's nice and clean let's pull the soak shield out right there and look at that dash is nice and clean and protected we'll leave this up to hang alcohol I'm going to use the same towel for wiping down the, the glass on the inside and the out so so what I'll do is I'll come in here and clean on the inside first and then I'll clean on the outside because what we don't want to do is we don't want to clean on the outside first use the same towel and potentially have trash from the outside come in and then scratch the film we don't want that because all this work you just did would be for naught and then before the car leaves alcohol over everything get it nice and clean ain't no sense in doing a beautiful installation on window film and you leave it dirty that's like cooking a beautiful meal and then serving it on on dirty plates or something like that just just can't be just ain't right tank here let's give this a wipe down here nice and beautiful yeah hey, it looks really nice those dots turned out really good trust me it's like sometimes you don't want to deal with those dots but you have to take the five minutes to deal with them because if not, you're going to take the 45 minutes to redo the entire windshield again because when it doesn't stick, it's just, it's just a nightmare and it looks horrible. Almost done here. Clean this up. Line on the floor. Line on the floor. Get our tools back. Tools, tools, tools. Water here. These tools there. I want to put the uh, rear view mirror back. Be careful. 
careful with that. There's like crystals. And y'all be careful when when you're taking these rear view mirrors off and there's things dangling from there. You know, they could be, you know, mementos from a wedding or a loved one or things like that. So just make sure that you're being careful. You're not just throwing them about. Because it might be something that's irreplaceable. Let's get a clean towel here. While we're at it, let's wipe down the rear view mirror. That's it. That's it. 50% on the full windshield, ceramic 50. So we're blocking out a very good amount of heat. Very good amount of heat, a tinge of privacy. I think it looks really, really good. If you guys are watching from Sun Solutions Tinning, uh, feel free to hit the link in the description below. You, it'll send you over to a lead gen form and you'll be able to go ahead and uh, uh, request a free estimate. So hopefully, uh, we'll see you guys soon. I'm gonna go ahead and drop off the window tinting business. No, not Sun Solutions feed. Thank you guys, have a good day. Wait, nope, that's not it. Boom. All right, so now we're offline here. And I'm back guys, how you doing? Woo, toasty. AC coming soon, AC's coming soon. All right, guys, if you guys have any questions, concerns, shout outs, criticisms, now's the time to go. Hit them up in the comments below. Uh, go ahead and make sure that's off. That's off here. I think we did it. I think, I think this is good. This is achieving the goal. How dark is that windshield? That, that windshield is 50%. If, if some customers had a link to watch you tint their car live or show it off to friends anytime you want filming from your business page sounds good to me nice nice i i wouldn't live stream it i'd edit the video so the customers can watch the process after the install do you want the customer listening to your interactions with the live stream um i really wouldn't mind if the customers heard the interaction with the live stream uh just because we're we're an education based youtube channel right so it's all about uh in, inspiring learning teaching educating so it's not like we're like a like a raunchy or or off brand right so if anything it makes me look like a subject matter expert in regards to what i'm doing how i take myself how, how i'm acting professionally and things of that nature and i'm willing to help others um in the craft so i think um i think that like you know if i was not thinking in the mindset of like my client is watching then i then it could be disastrous i could see i could see where that's coming from but uh as long as you keep the idea that like just think of it the customer's sitting there watching you sitting there watching you um you can hear that it's tacking up i said that after you cut around the mirror yeah yeah it was ee, that, that little like crinkle we're like on the border on the border if i hadn't have i haven't installed like a thousand windshields then the, it could have been disastrous a little bit more water sometimes i go overzealous on the uh, water management portion so uh let's see here how do you keep creases from happening um during the during the shrinking or during the installation portion during the in the installation portion is the easiest part as, as long as you took the proper steps at the very beginning the installation portion should be easy should be easy um if it's starting to crinkle on you or crease on you you might not have enough slip in your slip solution so that when you're squeegeeing out the window, the film isn't like sliding, it's tick sticking. So uh, how do you keep creases? Hey, Pat, huh? how do you like that dash towel dash cover? I, I like the dash cover. Um, I have to, I have to call it by the proper name. Hold on. What is dash protector? Okay. Okay. So I, I just wanted to call it by the proper name because I've been I've been calling it a dash towel. So this is this is the dash protector. Um and the, I have two versions, the XL and the XL, the, the regular and the XL. 
um i just want to let you know that it's not a sponsored thing dash protector did send me the dash protector um to try out and to test unfortunately they sent it to me probably six months ago and i am now able to to try it out and use it um and i like it i like it because if we're if we look here if we look here the dash protector um it's white right here at the very bottom right so that when you're cutting out the uh when you're cutting out the bottom especially it's super easy to see that black line at the very bottom and then you can it's cut it makes cutting a lot easier um and the top like like this one it had the the tinted factory top so i had to get a light in there uh, but sometimes you can you can bounce the, the the light just right um i think what would really be awesome would be seat covers listen to me seat covers that are white that way you protect the client's car seats but the white will be off um and you'll be able to see through the tint even at the top uh, i'm just trying to catch up on questions here i'm very happy to see you are doing well cheers stoke uh stoic stoic thank you he can't hear you doesn't have it set up yet no 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 i don't have it set up yet i normally watch matt from uh from uh, detroit studio yeah matt's a really good one matt latman <laughs> oh jaybird is this patrick latman yes it is patrick latman so for those of you guys um i ran under window tinting business for years and i felt like i was getting into like a, a hyper niche right so i switched it to patrick latman a personal brand not a brand um and I actually noticed a decretion in in uh, viewerships and subscribers because if you're new and you're looking for window tinting and you type in window tinting or window tinting business, it comes naturally or organically comes. So if you're new, you're not going to think of typing in Patrick Latman, right? Um, so I'm like a very, very tiny fish in a massively, massively large ocean. Um, so I switched the brand back to window tinting business. It's going to stay like this. Um, so we're we're just back. We're back. We're back to the old stuff. Nice setup. Good job, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Catch up. That your bike, a Grom? Yes. Uh, yes. The, the blue, the DSP Grom? That's mine. <laughs> That's mine. Um, yeah, the Grom's good just because gas prices are so crazy right now. It's like uh, with gas prices being out of this world right now, it's, it's, uh, it got to cost me $3.42 the other day to fill up and it lasts me about 100 115 miles so that's pretty good all right guys if you had any questions concerns shout outs criticisms now is the time um and then i'm going to go ahead and close it out uh because we do have the studio now in the shop uh we are going to be doing a lot more live streams uh kia bass is flex film any good i know a lot of professional window tinners I know personally no professional window tenders that have successful shops that use flex film. So um, they're, they're worth giving a shot. So why don't you go ahead and give them a call and, uh, and, um, and see if it works for you. Uh, you did try the live gaming on the channel. You did try the live gaming on the channel. Well, Jeremy B, yes. That was part of the personal brand and trying to go out there. Um, it's just... You know what? I enjoy personally gaming myself. Don't get me wrong, but like it starts becoming work when you have to like set up the live stream and set up notifications and things of that nature. And like, while I like gaming, I love window tinting. So like, it really wasn't my passion wasn't there. And I think I was trying at that point, I was just more trying to chase numbers and see if I can get bigger or grow bigger with a personal brand versus a branded channel. Um, and it just didn't go the direction that I wanted to go. Also, I felt like I was very much. Um, the only fish in the pond at the time but now it's me it's matt it's boss hoss it's texas squeegee it's jason omaletsky uh it, it, it's tint pro from youtube there's there's so many there's there's uh um carlos uh carlos from texas and marco um also from texas um there's just so many other people that are doing content for window tinting that like um you know it's just it's just it makes it a lot better so we're just going to stick to window tinting i mean i could probably break off into other things i do plan on doing door cups edge guards i do headlight protection like with ppf so i might dabble in some other things but the main meat and potatoes will be window tinting here so uh 
Uh, no, I didn't tint the I didn't tint the doors. Uh, the the vehicle was tinted already. We just did the windshield today. Thoughts on the current socioeconomic state of America? Burner account. Um, I try not to get into anything very political, but uh, it's you know inflation's high, uh, gas prices are high. Um, I think I think within the, the within the window tinting industry, we're going to see a lot more people that are going to be taking care of their older cars because newer cars are just so much expensive, so much more expensive. So I think, I think, uh, Reith, for those of you, the shops that don't like doing removals or don't do removals at all, I think it might be time to start th- rethinking about accepting removals and doing it in a way that makes you happy and makes you like not insane. Um, because I think there's going to be more R and R's than new cars, just because the way that the automotive industry is going currently. Um, I think, and maybe I'm optimistic, um, but you know, I believe that if you, if you provide a, a solid service with a solid product, a good business model, um, good customer service, a good experience for the clients, professionalism, I think that, I think the, 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 the business could still, could still thrive, you know? Uh, think tax time slower this year. I I don't think ta- I I don't know because I've never been in a, in a in a shop during tax time. So I'm completely brand new in a brand new market. I'm about thirty miles further than what I was before. Um, oh, business from Largo. Give me one second, guys. Sun Solution sending this, is Patrick. That's correct. Actually, Largo Window Tending is a call center. Um, we're a home based out of Hudson, but we service all over the Tampa Bay area. You looking to get your car tinted? House? Yeah, absolutely. What kind of car do you have? Kia Forte 2020. Okay, so we have three different options available. All three options look exactly the same side by side by side. The only differences would be the amount of heat rejection that they provide. Okay. So my entry film is a carbon film that blocks about 23% of heat. My standard film is a ceramic film that blocks about 64. And then my high performance film blocks over 96% of heat. Substantial differences between the three. Um, And then they're priced that way just to be able to fit most budgets. Our entry film starts off at 249. That's for the sides of the back. Our standard film goes for 399. And then our high performance goes for 549. And then we do have windshield options available as well. Which one do you think works best for you? Oh, yeah, feel free to call around for sure. Make sure that when you are calling around, though, you're comparing apples to apples, oranges to oranges, right? So someone might do a car for a little bit cheaper, but what are you getting for that? Is it a dyed film? Does it block only 10% of heat? Is it only going to last for three years? Um, that could end up costing you in the long run versus maybe paying a little bit more up front, but having a, a film that blocks a little bit more heat rejection and that has a longer lifespan, that has a longer warranty, things of that nature. So make sure to keep those in mind when you are shopping around. But feel free, if you want to work with us, uh, we'd love to work with you. Feel free to give us a call back and we'll get you set up. Of course, all our films, not just one, but all three of our films come come with a premium lifetime warranty. That covers bubbling, peeling, fading, delamination, basically film failure. For the life of your car, as long as you own the car, um, if it bubbles, peels, fades, or does anything like that because of the film, you bring it back to me. It's not going to cost you a dime. All it's going to cost you is a little bit of your time. Feel free to sit in our, our waiting area and we'll get it taken care of you free of charge. Also, that doesn't cover like if the glass breaks or if like you scratch it, self damage. But we do offer an in-house no fault warranty. Basically, it's an additional warranty on top of the factory warranty, and that would cover against breakage or self damage, and that covers up to two roll up windows. Installation time frame usually takes about two to three hours for the sides in the back. If we added the windshield, you probably add another hour on top of that. So, and then we have a we have a waiting area here, a comfortable waiting area. We got water, sodas, coffee, snacks, things of that nature. Very comfortable AC. Yeah, it's it, this is sun this is Sun Solutions tinting. So the Largo office that you called is actually a call center, and it redirects the calls to us. So, and that's what you're calling now. So, yeah, we're on 19 in Hudson, just south of uh, County Line Road. Yeah. Did you want to go ahead and book a book an appointment? 
Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. You can definitely. Um, my soonest availability, I have something in the morning tomorrow. So either something in the afternoon tomorrow, afternoon, or I can get you in as soon as the day after. So there is no Largo location. That's just a call center. So it's, yeah. So we're home based out of Hudson. Out of Hudson, yes, ma'am. Yeah. So. Oh, I, I completely understandable. It is a bit of a drive, but I mean, for for getting quality installation, good quality film, and pretty much the last time you get into in your car, um, it's better to it's better to drive far once than instead of driving short a bunch of times because there's mistakes and replacements and blah 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 blah. You know, so you get what you pay for in this industry. <laughs> All right. Ceramic. Yeah. So that's our standard film. We actually have two options for ceramic. Our entry standard ceramic blocks, uh, or not entry standard, excuse me. Our standard ceramic blocks 64% of heat and my high performance ceramic blocks over 96. Correct, three ninety nine or five forty nine. And when you come in, I have a heat box demo, so it, you can you can feel the difference of the three different film options, and then you can feel for yourself like where your money's going. It's kind of hard to wrap your head around like the numbers, but when you feel it, it, it makes totally sense. Total sense. So feel free to come in, check it out. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Uh, sorry, guys. Where is your shop located? I'll be watching very closely. Thanks for allowing us a window into your world much appreciated of course bowl of seeds of course how many customers lately have you been walk-ins based on new location visibility um few because we just got set up on on uh, google my business so like last week on thursday and i just got a huge sign up i did a live stream on it where i just got a huge sign up on the building so like no one really knew couldn't really see us so not many as of right now one or two but uh hopefully more soon Stokey, that was impressive. Thank you. Thank you. She can feel the FX. That's right, baby. That's right. And see, that's a uh, take a take a bow, sir. Ah, oh. <laughs> uh, I guess that's a good thing, right? You answer calls. That's exactly how I answer every single call. That's exactly how I deal with calls. Notice, notice that like I'm I'm trying to book the appointment. What, you know, I give her the three options. Which one works best for you? Those are open-ended questions. It's a very good sales tactic, right? You don't want to say, "Well, does that sound right? good?" No, let me just go shopping. She she was shopping around. She and she's she's throwing me and and here's the thing that you're always gonna get rebuttals, right? You have to rebuttal. You're gonna get like no's, right? You got to go through a sea of no's. It's part of sales. You have to go through a sea of no's before before you get to the island of yes. Oh, you're too far. Uh, I I understand that. Uh, you wanna um you wanna isolate the objection. What is the objection? I'm too far. I understand that it's too far. It might be too far, and you are correct, but. Is would you agree that it's worth it to to travel one time far instead of going maybe to a local shop where maybe the installation might not be as great, maybe the warranty, maybe the film will fail, and now you're going multiple times. So in the long run, you're actually going to travel further going to a shorter shop than maybe coming to me just once. So you 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 want to take the objection. Why are they not buying from you? Take the objection, understand it, and say. And, and it's it's important that you let them know. I understand your objection. You don't want to just say screw your objection, right? But you want to say. I understand your objection. I understand that it's far, but let's let's do this. Would you agree that it's it's better to drive once than drive ten times to a short location? That's always a yes answer, right? So then now you've uh, now you've moved that objection to the side, and now we're getting closer to a sale, closer to a booking. Um, now that she was asking me questions, oh, now what what's ceramic film? You know, what's the difference between the ceramic films? I can tell you the numbers, but why don't you just come in? And now once she comes in and she feels the heat box demo, it's a whole different story whole different story you got to get people in the door you got to you got to push don't just have a conversation with people every conversation you have on the phone is an opportunity to close get them booked in doesn't matter what it is it doesn't matter if it's entry standard high performance um if they go with the entry that's great because guess what when they walk in and i book them in i'm going to go through the sales pitch again in person i'm going to go through the heat box demo again and maybe that's just within their budget and that's it that's okay too um but maybe they'll upsell it uh, did she keep asking about Largo? She did ask about Largo a couple of times uh, because with the tint mob, basically what the tint mob does is I'm under Largo window tinting. So in the city of Largo, they'll Google Largo window tinting and I pop up as one of the top ones. So they'll call the Largo window tinting and it'll redirect it to my business line. That's how the tint mob works. Oh, 
the 10 mob. Um, so some people think that you have a physical location in Largo. I have to explain to people that it's a call center that gets rerouted. We're home based out of so and so. So that's it. Wow, 26 people. Where the hell did where the hell did everyone come from? <laughs> it was like 15 people five seconds ago. So yeah, um, that's just how I handle my calls, how I handle business. I try to every uh, you know, because we're I don't have a massive marketing budget, right? So every call is imperative. I don't have the opportunity to get sift through 100 calls or waiting for the call that's just right for me you got to make everyone work everyone work uh what's your rate of answering my phone my phone for a day or for one-on-one -on -one call training what's your rate for answering my phone for a day oh <laughs> um for uh window tinting life i do one-on-one -on -one trainings um and we, they're basically uh broken up into hour-long time slots and i, I used to the traveling tinter, the touring tinter, um, not the traveling tinter, but the touring tinter, I, I did more when I was mobile, but now I have a brick and mortar shop. I'm bringing people into the training, into the area for training. So we do have a training class coming up May 24th through the 26th, going over hand cutting, everything else like that. Um, so traveling, I can do consults at shops where we travel. Um, and basically I in integrate tint whiz and I kind of check out your, your business and see where, uh, where we can improve. But that's usually preceded by a like two or three hour phone call. And we go over your business breakdown and statistics, everything. If I can't figure out a way to, to, to improve your business by five to 10%, then we don't do business because there's just not enough meat on the bone, right? Uh, for me to go out to a, to a shop for a week and do an assessment, um, it costs $10,000. So it is what it is. But that's why I have a two or three hour call before I go out to a shop. Because if I can't make them at least forty to fifty thousand dollars more per year after my assessment, then we don't work together because there's no return on investment for them. So, and it's not cheap for me to do that. But video calls, video calls are um, video calls are available. Um, you can email me at windowtinningbusiness at gmail .com, Subject line: video conference, and uh, and we can set up a, a video conference call for sure. Yeah, um, there is a there is a a little bit of a rate, but it's nothing too too crazy. So. Just email me for more questions. I mean, if you if you're interested. Uh, after 41 years doing this, you very do you you very do at sales. Thank you. Oh, very good. You are very good at sales. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, sales is definitely something that I've been in for. You know, selling gym memberships and selling selling my girlfriend. I don't know if you guys have seen my fiance, but she is a smoke show. So I sold her. Life is a sale. Life is a sale. There's a quote that says. Um, uh, in life, you're either selling or being sold. It's one of the two. I don't know who said it. I don't remember it, but I know it's a quote for sure. So life is a sale, baby. Get after it. That was a good call, though. Thank you, Clearview Window Team. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'm talking just you sales and the phone training for my desk employees. All look into your rates and times. Oh, yeah, for sure. Window tending life. Yeah, absolutely. What I can do is we can set up a video conference just like this where I sit down with your team and um i can go over i can go over it it's 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 pretty much affordable i usually do it for about 150 dollars an hour um for for video conferences and like i said it's all about training how how to be more efficient how to sell more how to close more how to do things like that so it's definitely worth it um yeah have you gotten a chance to try solar effects's new lunar fx film thoughts um i haven't had a chance to do so the original lineup was gonna be not connected to lunar to to solar effects. It was gonna be its own entity um, because ev not everyone could be a solar effects dealer. You need to have a certain amount. Basically, you have to have a certain amount of experience, right? It's the same thing that Lumar does. The same thing Expel does. Same the same thing that all the big name brands do. They don't sell to little guys because they're afraid that the little guys don't know what they're doing. So if the little guy doesn't know what he's doing and he does shitty installations. And he sends business out, and the and the job looks like crap. People don't say that tinner did bad. Oh, that's that's 3M film, or that's Expo film, or that's Solar FX film. So that's why there's minimums and there's territories because they want to make sure that you're a player. So not everyone can be a Solar FX dealer, but the idea was that you could be a, a Lunar FX dealer, like a, a, an en, a, an entry film, but it's still not even an entry film. The, I mean, if you looked at it, um, it's a really good solid, solid film, color stable, um, really nice film. So that that was the idea, but a lot of the uh, solar effects community 
just didn't like the lunar fx connection so um i think they just uh they blended it together and pulled it back into the fx family so which i don't think is a bad thing at all no it's not separate it, it the, the plan was that it was going to be separate a separate entity from solar effects right separate entity completely but because the fx line was in there like some of the uh, the fx community just didn't like that it was so close to the chin so man pat i need a shop it's been storming here in north carolina and i've went to two job sites and have done 15 installs already got two more locations and three more installs i've been cold and soaking wet all day oh man oh man z customs baby you need a shot baby you've been around too dang long man you've been you've been a, a supporter for a long time and appreciate it appreciate it thank you um but yeah i know for sure you're ready for a shop how do you how do we sign up for the training class may 24th through the 26th um i can go ahead and put a link to the training class right here hold on one second so the link paste um i put the links are in my uh in my uh in window tending business public group and window tending business the private group there's a link and then there's a qr code there but if you guys just tap on the uh the link right up here it'll send you over to a, an application if you're interested in the training class for may the 24th through the 26th i'm still on the fence whether i'm going to bring in eight people or four people because i can bring two cars in here we're going to be a little tight um but i can do that so i don't know whether i'm going to do four or eight I haven't decided yet I haven't decided uh thanks thanks for the dsp i got a free dsp on your giveaway yes yes we are going to be doing more giveaways as well guys uh we're just revving up for it so sorry i know i've been switching from the office studio to this studio and it's been a crazy blur for like the last two months so i do apologize thank you everyone oh dang you're in florida i thought you were in socal uh no just i'm, I'm a socal boy so uh but the but bowl of seeds they do um they do have flights out to florida and it's beautiful so <laughs> uh yes okay guys um i think i'm done at this time we've been going for about an hour and a half right now so we're an hour and 20. um make sure if you guys are on facebook or on youtube make sure to hit the bell notification so you guys know when i'm notified whenever i go live i don't think i said that right so you're notified whenever i go live um, i'm going to be doing a lot more live streams from the shop um you know piggybacking off of the gopro screen screen sharing but hopefully soon i'll be able to save a little bit for that uh wireless connector and then we'll be able to go ahead and uh, do it instantly and i'll be able to hear the chat in my ear so it's only going to get better from here so thank you very much guys